in the previous session session we have seen differentiating under the base of e that is the natural logarithms and exponential so here we are going to look at logarithms under different bases first one y is equal to log to the base 2 of x cube and as usual let's you know uh, look at a much simpler form y is equal to log to the base a of x okay now uh, changing of bases we know how to do so this would be natural log i'm going to convert it into uh, natural log by natural log of a okay now this can be written as if i do the differentiation 1 by natural log of a is a constant right so it doesn't depend on x so which means i have to differentiate only natural log of x which we know is 1 by x so this becomes 1 by x natural log of a pretty straightforward so let's apply this here dy by dx is equal to 1 by x here it is x cube natural log of a and here a is 2 times we have to differentiate x cube so 3x square so this x square and this x square goes off and we are left with 1 no 3 3 by x natural log of okay so you have to remember this or you should know how to uh, very quickly derive it okay second y is equal to 5 to the power of 5x cube okay again let's look at a simpler form y is equal to a to the power of x okay now let's uh, take the natural log of both the sides so ln of y is equal to ln of a to the power of x now using uh, logarithm rules we can write it as x natural log of a right so let me write this as well now let's uh, take the exponentiation of both the sides now here what will happen this will cancel out e and uh, uh, natural log so we have y is equal to e to the power of x natural log of a right now let's differentiate it dy by dx is equal to we know how to do this x ln a times now we have to differentiate x ln a which is nothing but ln a now this is nothing but y so y ln a but y is we know a to the power of x so a to the power of x ln a so the dy by dx of y is equal to a to the power of x is a to the power of x ln a okay now we know this let's do this dy by dx is equal to here a is remember 5 and x is 5x cubed okay so 5 to the power of 5x cubed times ln of a a is 5 now we have to differentiate the exponent so 15x square so which means the derivative is uh, 3 times 5x square right uh, and then we have 5 to the power of 5x cube times ln of 5 now if we take this 5 and this we can write it as 3x square 5 to the power of 5x cube plus 1 ln of 5 okay that was the second one now let's look at the third one y is equal to 5 to the power of 2x to the power of 5 so dy by dx is equal to remember this is a to the power of x so the derivative is a to the power of x 
So five to the power of two two x to the power of five times ln of five times ten x of four. Which gives us two times five times x to the power of four times five two x of five ln of five. Now let's take this five and this five. We end up with two x to the power of four times five to the power of two x to the power of five plus one. Natural log of five. Okay. Fourth one. Y is equal to two to the power of three x cube. Again, dy by dx. This is nothing but eight to the power of x. So that means eight to the power of x times ln of a. That is two times nine x square. So the derivative is nine. We write it. Uh, there is no common factor, so we can leave it as it. 9x square times 2 to the power of 3x cube times ln of okay fifth one. Y is equal to log of 2 of x to the power of 5 by 3x cube plus 4 square. Now just remember, you have to take it step by step by step. Uh, so dy by dx is equal. Now we know what is the differentiation of log to the base a. That is one by x. X is this entire thing. So x to the power of five by three x cube plus four square times ln of two times. Now we have to differentiate this. So this would be what two times x to the power of five by three x cube plus four to the power of two minus one one. And now we have to do the inner bracket where we have to apply the quotient rule. So three x cube plus four as it is five x four minus. Now differentiating uh, the numerator remains as it is and. 9x square divided by the denominator square. So 3x cube plus 4 square. Okay. Now you see here this and this and this are same. The only thing is here it is to the power of 1. Here it is to the power of 2. So let's remove 1. So now we have x to the power of by uh, 5 by 3x cube plus 4. There is only one of this 3x cube plus 4. And here there are two of this, so this and one of this will cancel. Two times three five fifteen x seven plus twenty x four minus nine x seven divided by x to the power of five. Natural log of two. Times three x cube plus four, and this would be equal to two times fifteen minus nine six x seven plus twenty x four by x to the power of five natural log of two three x cube plus four, and x to the power of four is common, so let's take it out. So we are left with six x cube plus 20, and then we have x to the power of 5, natural log of 2, 3x cube plus 4. Here, x to the power of 4, and this will go off, and we can take 2 again common out. So 2 times 2 is 4. We have taken out 2, so 3x cube plus 10. Why? X natural log of two, three x cube plus four. So that is the derivative. Look at the sixth one. Y is equal to log to the base five of 
2x square by x cube plus 3 to the power of 4. Okay. Uh, dy by dx would be equal to first log 5. So 1 by x that is 2x square by x cube plus 3 to the power of 4. Natural log of 5 times. Now we have to differentiate this. So this would be 4 times uh, 4 times 2x square by x cube plus 3 cube times and now we have to differentiate this. So for that we have to apply the quotient rule. So this would be what x cube plus 3 times 4x minus 3x square times 2x square divided by x cube plus 3 okay now let's see here we have cube so let's remove this cube okay now let's rewrite this uh, so this would become 4 times 4 x 4 plus 12 x minus 6 x 4 right and let's take this x cube plus 3 square down so x cube plus 3 square down so now at this level we will have 2 x square by x cube plus 3 right natural log of 5 so one of this and this will cancel 2 2 times simplify this minus 2 x 4 plus 12 x by x square natural log of 5 x cube plus 3 okay. now 2 times minus 2 x let's take it out so what do we have we have x cube minus 6 so we get plus 6 to 12 x and minus 2 x 4 divided by x square natural log of 5 x cube plus 3 so 1 x and 1 x goes off here so finally the derivative is minus 4 times x cube plus no not plus minus 6 divided by x times natural log of 5 x cube plus okay that was the sixth one seventh y is equal to log to the base 2 of x square by 3 x 4 plus 4 cube okay dy by dx is equal to 1 by x which is x square by 3 x 4 plus 4 cube times natural log of 2 times now we have to differentiate this so 3 times x square by 3 x 4 plus 4 3 minus 1 2 and now this one so 3x4 plus 4 as it is 2x minus uh, 12x cube times x square divided by 3x4 plus 4 square okay 2 of this and 2 of this will disappear you are having 1 of this and 1 of this will get cancelled so now let's simplify what do we have here we have 3 times 3 to 6 x to the power of 5 plus 8 x minus 12 x to the power of 5 divided by x square natural log of 2 3 x 4 plus 4 okay so 3 x is common let's take it out so 6x4 plus 8 minus 
well x to the power of 4 x square natural log of 2 3 x 4 plus 4 one of this and one of this will get cancelled and we will have 3 6 minus 12 is minus 6 x 4 plus h by x natural log of 2 times 3 x 4 plus 4 and if you want to i should have done it previously so again 2 is common here so 6 and 3 x 4 plus 4 by natural log of 2 3 x 4 plus 4 that is the derivative eighth one y is equal to log to the base 5 of 4 x cube by 2 x square plus 3 square dy by dx is equal to 1 by 4 x cube by 2 x square plus 3 square natural log of 5 times 4 x cube 2 times by 2 x square plus 3 2 minus 1 1 and now the quotient rule 2 x square plus 3 12 x square minus 4 x times 4 x cube divided by 2 x square plus 3 square so again here one of this and one of this cancels this and one of this gets cancelled anything else two two so what have we remaining so what we have remaining is uh, 24 x 4 plus 36 x square minus 16 x 4 divided by x cube natural log of 5 2 x square plus 3 i missed this too this one okay so we need to be very careful so this becomes 24 minus 16 is 8 x 4 plus 36 x square by 2 x cube natural log of 5 2 x square plus 3 and from this let's take 4 out 4 x square out and we are left with 2 x plus uh, 9 2 x square plus 9 divided by 2 x cube natural log of 5 2 x square plus 3 so here x square and this cancels 2 so the answer is 2 times 2 x square plus 9 by x times natural log of 5 times 2 x square plus 3. Okay, 8 1, 9 1 now. y is equal to cube root of log to the base 2 of x to the power of 5. This can be written as log to the base 2 of x to the power of 5 to the power of 1 by 3. So, dy by dx would be 1 by 3 log to the base 2 of x to the power of 5. A 1 by 3 minus 1 is minus 2 by 3 times. Now, we have to take care of the log. So, that would be 1 by uh, x to the power of 5 natural log of 2 times now we have to take care of pi x to the power of 5 so 5 x of 4 right now simplifications so what do we do here x to the power of 4 and this will go on so on top we have 5 minus 2 by 3 is there so let's take it down so 3 log 2 x to the power of 5 to the power of 2 by 3 and x let's write it here and natural log of if we want to write it we can write it in the way in which the question was framed so 3x cube root of log 2x5 square 
natural log of okay tenth one y is equal to 5 to the power of fifth root of 4 x to the power of 5 plus 1 okay this is y is equal to a to the power of x so remember this can also be written as 4 x 5 plus 1 to the power of 1 by 5 so dy by dx is equal to a to the power of x so a to the power of x is nothing but this itself so 4 x to the power of 5 plus 1 to the power of 1 by 5 times and ln 5 ln of the base times now we have to differentiate the exponent so that becomes 1 by 5 times 4 x to the power of 5 plus 1 1 by 5 minus 1 so minus 4 by 5 times 20 x to the power of 4 now 5 fourths. so we have uh, 5 to the power of 4 x to the power of 5 plus 1 to the power of 1 by 5 natural log of 5 and we have 4 x to the 4 divided by this is negative exponent let's bring it down so 4 x to the power of 5 plus 1 to the power of 4 by 5 11th one y is equal to log to the base 3 of 2 x square square dy by dx so outermost square so that would be 2 times log to the base 3 of 2 x square to the power of 1 times now the log 3 so log 3 would be 1 by 2x square natural log of 3 times times 4x so here what will happen 2 2's x square one of the x square so we end up with 4 log to the base 3 of 2x square by x natural log of 3 okay 12th one y is equal to log to the base 2 of fourth root of x square plus 3 power of 1 by 4 okay dy by dx is equal to 1 by x square plus 3 to the power of 1 by 4 times natural log of 2 times 1 by 4 x square plus 3 to the power of 1 by 4 minus 1 that is minus 3 by 4 times 2x okay now let's simplify this we get this 2 2 times and this 2 we can write it here so we end up with x x square plus 3 to the power of minus 3 by 4 by 2 times x square plus 3 1 by 4 natural log of and we can take this up or we can bring this down so either way what will happen is we will end up with uh, this is 2 we will end up with x square plus 3 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 natural log of 2 which is nothing but 2 times x square plus 3 to the power of 1 natural log of okay 13th one y is equal to log to the base 2 of 2 plus 5 to the power of 4 x square now we have a combination okay so dy by dx is equal to first we have to take care of the log part so 1 by x which is 2 plus 5 to the power of 4 x square natural log of 2 times now we have to differentiate this this will be 0 so we can ignore it now we have to differentiate this this is y is equal to a to the power of x and we know this is nothing but a to the power of x 
natural log of pi. So this would be pi four x square times natural log of pi times four x square. That is eight. So let's rewrite it. We get eight x natural log of pi. Pi to the power of four x square divided by two plus five four x square natural log of fourteen one. Y is equal to log to the base five of two x square plus one x square. So dy by dx would be first we have to take care of the log. That would be one by. Uh, x so that is 2x square plus 1 square times natural log of pi times now we have to differentiate this so 2 times 2x square plus 1 to the power of 1 times 4x okay this one and this one will get cancelled and we are left with 8x divided by 2x square plus 1 natural log of 15th one. Y is equal to log to the base 4 of x to the power of 5 times square root of 3x4 plus 4. The product rule. So dy by dx is equal to this as it is, and this we have to differentiate. So this is nothing but 3x4 plus 4 to the power of 1 by 2. So 1 by 2, 3x4 plus 4 to the power of 1 by 2 minus 1, which is minus 1 by. 2. And then we have to differentiate this part. So that would be uh, 12x cube plus. Now this remains as it is: 3x4 plus 4 times. And now we have to take care of the log. So that would be one by x to the power of five natural log of four times x to the power of five. That gives us five um, x to the power of four. Okay, now let's see uh, what can we do. Two six, right? That's the only simplification possible as of now. Okay. So log to the base four of x to the power of five times no. Let's take it down. Three x four plus four to the power of half times six x cube plus five uh, x four times three x four plus four to the power of one by y x to the power of five natural log of four. Okay, now let's take the LCM. So, if we take the LCM, what do we get? X to the power of five natural log of four, three x four plus four to the power of one by two. And here uh, we have to cross multiply x to the power of five. So we already have x to the power of three. So five plus three eight. Six is there. Six x to the power of H, right? Log to the base four of x to the power of five, natural log of four. Plus, and here we have five x to the power of four, three x to the power of four plus four to the power of half plus half, which is one. Okay. Now let's open up the brackets. Six x to the power of eight. Log to the base four of x to the power of five, natural log of four plus five three is fifteen x to the power of eight plus twenty x to the power of four divided by x to the power of five, natural log of four three x four plus four to the power of okay. Now here we have x to the power of five. Here we have x to the power of four comma. So let's take x to the power of four common out. We are left with six x to the power of four log to the base four of x to the power of five natural log of four plus 
15x to the power of uh, 4 plus 20 divided by x to the power of 5 natural log of 4 3x4 plus 4 half. So here this x to the power of 4 cancels and only 1x remains. So 6x to the power of 4 log to the base 4 of x to the power of 5 natural log of 4 plus 15x4 plus 20 divided by x natural log of 4 times 3x4 plus 4 to the power of 5. So that is the 15th one. Now 16th one. y is equal to x square plus 4 to the power of half times 4 to the power of 4x cube dy by dx product rule. So the first as it is so x square plus 4 to the power of half. Now this we know a to the power of x is nothing but a to the power of x natural log of 4 times 12x square plus now we need to differentiate the first so 1 by 2 x square plus 4 minus half times 2x okay 2 and 2 cancels and we also have 4 to the power of 4x cube okay so now let's simplify this uh, let's take this down so this would be x square plus 4 to the power of half so let's take the lcm x square plus 4 to the power of half here we don't have in the denominator anything so we need to multiply so this becomes x square plus 4 to the power of half plus half 1 times 4 to the power of 4 x cube natural log of 4 uh, times 12 x square plus x times 4 to the power of 4 x cube okay open up this bracket we have 12 x square times x square that gives us 12 x to the power of 4 times 4 to the power of 4 x cube natural log of 4 plus 12 force 48 of x square 4 to the power of 4 x cube natural log of 4 plus uh, we have x 4 to the power of 4 x cube divided by x square plus 4 to the power of 1 by 2. Okay, now let's take common commonality out. This, this and this is common. x, 1x and 1x. So, which means 4 to the power of 4x cube is common. x is common. So, what are we left with? We are left with 12x cube natural log of 4 plus 48 1x is remaining and 4 to the power of 4x cube is taken out natural log of 4 plus this entire thing has been taken out so 1 divided by x square plus 4 to the power of 4. so that is the derivative Okay, 17th one. Y is equal to log to the base 5 of 4x square by log to the base 4 of x to the power of 5. Okay, so dy by dx quotient. So the denominator as it is, and we need to differentiate the numerator. So this would be 4x square natural log of 5 times uh, we need to differentiate this now so this would be 8x minus now the uh, numerator as it is. so log 5 4x square times the denominator has to be differentiated so 1 by x to the power of 5 
natural log of 4 times 5x of 4 and since it is the quotient rule remember do not forget divided by the square of the denominator so log to the base 4 of x to the power of 5 square okay so 8x log to the base 4 of x to the power of 5 minus 5x of 4 log to the base 5 of 4x square. Here in the denominator we have 4x square natural log of 5 and here we have x to the power of 5 natural log of 4. And this entire thing is divided by natural log, uh, log to the base 4 of x to the power of 5 square. So before proceeding further, let's simplify it, otherwise it uh, becomes tedious. So here 1x and 1x gets cancelled 4 times 2. Here x to the power of 4 and this cancels. And now let's take the LCM. So we will have x natural log of 5 natural log of 4 and we will have 2 x natural log of 4 log to the base 4 of x to the power of 5 okay minus actually x is already there here so we don't have to multiply it so this is not required okay and here it will be 5 natural log of 5 log to the base 5 of 4 x square right and the denominator of this entire thing that we can put it here log to the base 4 of x to the power of 5 square okay so 18 y is equal to log to the base 4 of 3x square divided by 2x to the power of 5 plus 3 to the power of 1 by again quotient rule 2x to the power of 5 by 3 to the power of 1 by 4 as it is and we have to do this so 1 by 3x square natural log of 4 times 6x minus uh, log 4 3x square as it is and we have to differentiate the denominator so 1 by 4 2x5 plus 3 minus 3 by 4 times 10x4 divided by 2x to the power of 5 plus 3 1 by 4 square. Okay. Here what we can do is uh, 2 times 2 and 2 times 5. Okay. Here 3 times 2 and here x, x cancels so let's write it 2x5 plus 3 to the power of 1 by 4 times 2 divided by x and natural log of 4 minus of 5x4 log to the base 4 of 3x square by the uh, 2 times 2x of 5 plus 3 to the power of 3 by 4. right the whole thing divided by uh, 2x of 5 plus 3 1 by 4 times 2 is 1 by 2. okay now let's add up these two by taking the lcm x natural log of 4 2 2x5 plus 3 to the power of 3 by 4. And now we cross multiply. What do we get? Uh, we get 2 times 2 is 4. Or uh, 2x5 plus 3. 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. That is 1. So great. Then minus 5x to the power of 5. Okay natural log of 4 and log to the base 4 of 3x square and we also have this one 
So that would be 2x to the power of 5 plus 3 to the power of 1 by 2. So now let's open up this bracket 8x to the power of 5 plus 12 minus 5x to the power of 5 natural log of 4 log to the base 4 of 3x square divided by uh, 2x natural log of 4 2x to the power of 5 plus 3 to the power of 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2. So 3 by uh, 2, 4 is the LCM. So 3 plus 2, 5 by 4. So that is the derivative. So we have seen how to differentiate uh, logarithmic functions and exponentials uh, when um, they are not based on E. That is the uh, natural log. It is based on other basis. That's it. Bye.